I'm Melissa, and this marks the two-year anniversary since I donated my kidney. So in celebration of that, I'd like to share my story in hopes that it inspires you to do something you never thought you could do. My friend Robin, she suffered from polycystic kidney disease, which was hereditary in her family. Her brother had already gotten a transplant. Her mother had died from it. Um, so there was really nobody she could go to uh, in her family other than her only son who it was deemed he was not a candidate after testing. So I said that I would gladly get tested knowing full well that I was definitely going to be her donor. It just felt like it in my bones. That's all I could say. So um, they said, yes, I can donate to her. Um, but she would have to get a shunt in her neck a couple days prior to the surgery to wash down her plasma because my blood numbers were a little higher than her body likes. Um, she couldn't do it. She freaked out about it. And really, I don't think it was the shunt at all. It was other things going on in her life, and she just focused on that. And, um, and I said, okay, well, what do you want me to do? And she said, would you consent to going on the national uh, database? And what that is, is the doctors put in my information as far as my blood work, her information, and it gets out there to um, other donors and recipients across the country. So if there is a donor out there that is a match for her that does not require her to have a shunt in her neck, then she would go with that one. But the only way she's going to get that is if I give my kidney to somebody who needs it on that database. So I said, okay, let's try it. Meanwhile, the doctors had called her in to their office and said, you're going to die. You better take Melissa's kidney now. There's no more time. I don't know what you're waiting for. And really read her the riot act. She said to them, just give me a week. And they said, what's a week going to do? And she said, God will give me the answer in a week. So they thought she was crazy. They said goodbye to her. That was that. Within a week, just like she had said, everything was in order. Everything was put into motion. We had uh, a four person chain. So my kidney was going out to a woman in Pennsylvania who I didn't know. She, my friend Robin was getting a kidney from another girl named Melissa um, in New York, who was a 26 year old who read an article in Glamour magazine and felt the need to give her kidney. So she didn't know any of us. Um, and so that was it, the four of us made this chain. Everything happened so fast. Everything came together. It, it was pretty magical. And even the doctors had said that the things don't go this fast and this smoothly ever. So we do the surgeries. Everybody's great. The next day, the doctors come into my room and they said, Oh, we want you to know that your kidney fired right up in that girl in Pennsylvania. And I said, yeah, yeah, I figured, <laughs> Um, I've never been drunk in my life, so I've like have the kidneys of a 10 year old and, uh, they said, no, you don't understand. She waited for seven years. There was no match for this girl and I got goosebumps and it was an aha moment. And I knew for a fact, that's why Robin, you know, freaked out about the shunt. It was, you know, God had a much bigger plan than the one that we had. So um, it was amazing, and I am so humbled and honored that, you know, I could be used like that. Um, I'd say it was the second best thing I've ever done in my life uh, outside of having my daughter. Um, I'm in the best shape of my life, and I think the other Melissa is as well. I think all four of us would probably say we're in the best shape of our life after it. And uh, it really gives you such an understanding of what people with kidney disease go through, the dialysis, and this, it's, it's horrible. And, um, you know, you only need one good kidney. And uh, there's no reason why there shouldn't be more living donors out there. Um, I felt like I was in the best hands, and I was no worse for the wear, that's for sure. Um, I have a two-inch scar right under my belly button from the surgery. That's all I have. And honestly, I hope it never fades completely because when I look down, it brings a smile to my face because I earned that. And I know that it means a couple people are alive today because of it. And uh, that makes me super happy. So um, if there's anything 
that you think you can't do, think again. You can do anything. I never thought I would do this. I, people don't think about that, I guess, when they're healthy. So um, there's a lot of hope out there for people who are in need of a kidney. Um, if you want to help somebody, you don't have to be an exact match. You just have to be willing to give your kidney. There's somebody out there that needs it. Um, you're doing a great thing. So I'm glad I shared my story.